Hello friends, this is Shiva Shankar from Safety Hands again with a new video. In this video, I am going to explain about electrical hazards and controls. We all know electricity is an important source of energy and it is dangerous. Across the world, uh, electrical energy is a major source of fire and uh, explosion, mainly in the oil and gas industries. So, electricity works in three major principles, which is electrical current, electrical voltage and resistance. Electrical current is a flow of electrons inside the conductor and it is measured in ampere. And electrical voltage is a measure of electrical force, otherwise we can say electrical voltage is a, a measure of potential difference between the two terminals and it is measured in volts. And res resistance is nothing but the ability to decrease or stop the flow of current and it is measured in ohms. Let's see what, are, what causes an electrical shock. We all know current flows through the closed circuit. So by mistakenly our body which is an efficient electrical conductor comes in contact with any electrical part we may feel shock or an electrocution. So what causes the severity? It depends upon four major things which is the time of electrical current inside the bo body I mean how long it is staying inside the body the path it may travel and the amount of uh, electricity uh, and the last is the frequency of electricity please refer to the table which is given for the various uh, ampere ratings which starts from uh, micro ampere one below one micro ampere to 15 amps and the body reaction so let's see what are all the hazards of electricity. Electricity causes burns. The burns itself categorized into three, which is electrical burns and arc burns and uh, thermal contact burns. Electrical burns causes when the electricity flows through the tissue or bone and it causes the tissue damage and it is a very severe uh, burns among the three and it should be treated immediately. Next is arc burns, which causes when there is a arc flash produce our body exposed to any explosions and the thermal contact burns is a burn when our body come into contact with superheated or overheated electrical conductors now let's see how we can save ourselves from this electrical energy first we need to identify the hazards hazards in the sense it could be inappropriate wirings or wrong pps or the working environments wet environments these kinds of hazards should be identified first and we need to evaluate what could be done to save ourselves from these kind of hazards so once the control measures are identified it should be implemented and reviewed for its effectiveness and next we will see what are all the protection devices we have to protect uh, the electricity we have four kind of devices first is gf i mean ground fault uh, circuit interrupter the gfci and the circuit breakers, fuses, bondings, and uh, electrical earthings. GFCI is a uh, it measures the electrical leakage. I mean, uh, it uh, measures the electrical imbalance between the two terminals. And uh, when it detects leakage current, and definitely it will trip the circuit. It always set in five milliamps. And circuit breaker will detect the overload current. I mean, this excess current and the fuses. Uh, also works on the same principle and bonding is a uh, actually a jumper wire connected to between the two uh, conductors which ensures the continuous path of electricity to the ground electrical earthing earthing is also an important pa part of electrical system which uh, grounds the excess current i mean stray current uh, in from the electrical circuit and it is uh, ve and a very important concept it is a very important concept in, in oil and gas industries because we all know this uh, earthing has a major role in in the electrical system it always uh, grounds deep into the earth uh, uh, whatever this leakage current is uh, available in the electrical circuit so also we have a tabular column here which shows uh, how many distances, I mean, how many fields we have to keep ourselves away for various voltage ratings. So that's all for today, friends. So if you have any comments on this video and have any clarification, please comment me down. I'll be happy to explain you back. Thank you.